Macron caves, France backs down and launches emergency protocol to open borders in hours France will aim to establish Europe-wide sanitary protocol measures in the coming hours to allow the resumption of traffic flows with the United Kingdom, Transport Minister Jean-Baptiste Jabari has said. It comes as trade was disrupted after France banned hauliers travelling from the UK due to fears over the spread of the more infectious strain of coronavirus. The ban caused lorry queues in Kent forcing police to put emergency measures in place. Kent police implemented Operation Stack on the coastbound carriageway of the M20 between junctions 8 and 11, saying it was a contingency measure following the French government's announcement it will not accept any passengers arriving from the UK for the next 48 hours. Operation Stack is where parts of the M20 are used to queue lorries travelling towards the continent, to avoid causing gridlock across Kent's road network. France is among a number of European countries to implement travel restrictions in the wake of a new mutant strain of coronavirus sweeping through southeast England. The country announced on Sunday it was suspending all traffic, including freight and passenger transport, from the UK for 48 hours, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson to chair a meeting of the government's Cobra Civil Contingencies Committee on Monday in an attempt to address the situation. Mr Jabari said this morning, in the next few hours, at European level, we're going to establish a solid health protocol to ensure that movement from the UK can resume. Our priority, to protect our nationals and our fellow citizens. Transport Secretary Grant Shapp stressed emergency measures were being put in place to cope with a backlog of lorries heading for the channel ports. But he sought to play down the potential impact making clear container freight was not hit by the ban on people crossing the border. Richard Burnett, chief executive of the Road Haulage Association, RA, said the disruption could cause problems with fresh food supply in the run-up to Christmas. He told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, with it being so close to Christmas we're looking at 48 hours at this point in time in terms of the restrictions, we're likely to see operation stack building in terms of numbers of vehicles on the UK side and that might be a deterrent for EU hauliers to want to come so close to Christmas and end up being stranded here, that's part of the challenge that we're facing today. Following the announcement, Portsmouth International Port advised all passengers and hauliers heading to France not to travel to the port apart from for unaccompanied freight. A spokeswoman for the Hampshire port said sailings have not been disrupted and they are not experiencing any queues of lorries. The port said in a statement, due to current travel restrictions in France, only unaccompanied freight has permission to sail. Passengers and accompanied freight vehicles are advised not to travel to Portsmouth as they will be unable to sail as planned. Meanwhile, Port of Dover Chief Executive Doug Bannister has called on the UK and French governments to allow lorry drivers to resume travel across the channel as soon as possible. He said, with the news that was released around this new variant that's in the UK now, clearly what that meant is that a whole lot of people around Europe had to start thinking carefully about this. But the one thing that we did see is, certainly during the first lockdown back in March and April, we did see that lorry drivers had been exempt. At the same time, supermarket chain Sainsbury's warned salad leaves and citrus fruits could be missing from supermarket shelves as a result of restrictions on UK-France trade. The supermarket giant said the ban on freight hauliers from the UK could affect food supplies but assured customers that crucial Christmas dinner supplies are available and already in the country.